before I explain to you why I've started on the job screen. These highlights, pretty damn good. Pretty good set of highlights. Enjoy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yep, good. There's the two injuries I didn't need. Well, the new stadium's nice. I like that. Um, they are about to score the first goal here, though, after about 30 seconds. Oh my god, that was close. That was close. Go on. Who is it? Parish? Oh, of course it is. No worries. Straight in. Love it. First goal at Dorking Stadium is obviously scored by Danny Parish. Obviously. For fuck's sake. Of course they score a free kick. Oh, that's awful goalkeeping. House is probably watching that and thinking, yeah, that's what you get. No, not another set piece. Okay. The Admiral's got the ball. Do something. Look over here. <gasps> yes! That's such good vision from Danny Parrish there. The Admiral did a ri and made a really, really good run there. But that right, that movement from Parrish is brilliant. Wow. Miller gets his first goal in his first appearance. Okay, okay. That should seal it up. Substitute the Admiral comes on and sets up Parrish to make it 3-1 against Atkinson Stanley. A good pass. A good finish. Lovely. All the injuries are coming out now. Of course they are. Of course. The Admiral has opened his account. Number nine. First goal of the season. Perry with a lovely ball over the top. McPherson. Yep, lovely. Admiral held his run. Made it easy for him. Good goal. Premier League. Under 33. Standard, these guys are. And their goalkeeper's just done that. Love it. I've seen worse debuts. Jack Blake puts one top corner with quite a lot of help from the goalkeeper. Yeah. Doesn't matter. We're winning. Oh no. Please make us go 2 1 up. That'd be nice. Oh no. Oh, you've got to get that back. Come on. Just don't give away a penalty or anything. How has that gone in? Oh, this is League Two football. This is the slip has come. That's a devastating counter attack from the Admiral. Picks it up. It just outside our box. Runs the full length. That's a great block there from uh, whoever this is, Miller. And then Paris just thinks it near post. Lovely. I've got a feeling that link up's going to be really, really integral for us this season. Well, this is an interesting set of events. Uh, two of you deal. Make it three. Okay, two's fine. Our first two year deal. Cool. Well, oh, Fidel's trying to cement his place in the team. What a goal this is! He said, I'll turn whoever this is. Redmond. Oh, doesn't go much more top corner than that. Danny Parrish is already on 10 goals this season. This is a great ball in from. Uh, Macpherson as well and a great header is that that's Marcus Muir's first ever goal for us how's it taken this long oh John Terry wants to catch these fucking hands okay okay we'll see John Terry we'll see John Terry so since the last time you were here we have played quite a lot of games and we have won quite a lot of games. So you saw me lose 3 1 to Bristol. And then we went on a run, scoring quite a lot of goals. This Atkinson game is particularly interesting because they're quite a good side, Atkinson. And we beat them 3 2. But they had three goals disallowed in the last 10 minutes. They should have won this game. And we scraped a dub. But looking back at it, 
we have had a very, very good couple of months since you last saw. Getting some pretty big wins. 3-0 either Lincoln away. We beat Ipswich at home. John Terry's Ipswich. We scored a 94th minute winner through Danny Parrish to get that done. Uh, we had a really, really good game against Oldham, drawing 4-4 away from home. But we were 3-0 up at half-time. We thought we had the game won in the 88th minute after they'd equalised, and then they scored in the 96th through Lewis Kelly. That was It was heartbreaking, but it was also a really, really good game. And then <laughs> we lost on penalties to Hendon at home. They're in the Vanarama South, but they're struggling in the Vanarama South. It's such a disappointing draw. And to go out to them in the FA Cup is just ridiculous. We didn't even play that weak of a side. One per player I do want to highlight is Andy McPherson. He's injured today, but his development in the past few months is fantastic. He's got so much better since December of last year. He's just permanently on the up. And now he's considered a decent player for League Two. We also made some transfers since last time. I know I was panicking. Uh, we've brought in Archie Proctor on loan from Wimbledon to play centre-back. Jack Blake, who is a central midfielder, a creative central midfielder. Very, very good player. Uh, his average rating doesn't suggest it, but he has been very, very important for us. He plays quite a good link-up play in the middle. He hasn't got any assists, but I, I can assure you it's there. Archie Proctor, however, is our leading centre-back at the moment. We're not paying him a single penny, but we did have to promise that he'd be a regular starter for him to come in. Mentally, at the age of 21, he is ridiculous. 17 leadership, 15 determination, 14 work rate. 6 foot 2, strong, good natural fitness, good jump and reach. The only thing that really could get better is his tackling and his heading, and then he'd be incredible. We also spent some money on a right back, the man that I think is going to take that uh, Barry Fuller's position as our star right back. He is our star player and we're paying him a thousand pounds a week. He's the highest paid player by about 200 pounds now, but he signed a three year deal. We got, he came in from TNS where he scored eight goals last season from right back and he does look very, very good. He's a very good league two player um, and he hates Norwich and so do I. So, Match made in heaven. Next, we also have Fidel O'Rourke, who came in on a free from Liverpool. He's got seven goals in nine starts in the league. I thought the Admiral was going to be the one that was partnering Danny Parrish up top, but it appears that Fidel is probably going to be that person. Brought Dan Martin as backup to McPherson on the left. He's just very good. Comes in on loan from Atkinson. Very good first touch, good dribbling. Not the fastest, but good acceleration. And he's six foot four. He's a left mid. Ridiculous. And finally, we've got Jake Garrett in on loan from Blackburn. He's a squad player. We're paying £350 a week. Just very good. Very good left back for this, uh, this division. Just until our main man... Bradley Smart, not Bradley Smart, Bradley Smart's the right mid. Fabio Good gets back. And he, he's not far away, 11 days and three weeks after he's done his damaged cruciate, uh, after he damaged his cruciates. We just count down the days for him to come back. And we have agreed a signing for January. We've spent some money again. We've spent £2,000 on Gwyn Garmy from TNS. We are just giving them all of our transfer budget but he looks amazing he can play all down the left hand side through the middle my scouts reckon he's oh, my scouts have dropped in their recommendation actually but he's got goals he's got goals I believe that he'll be he'll be decent 8 games 4 goals 7.4 average rating I don't think we can lose there. Two ground to two ground. We've got lots of players coming in on trial. And I've made a couple of inquiries about Archie Proctor and this striker from Forest Green, Jake Young, just as a bit of backup. 
looks like a good finisher and yeah I guess we should probably get into today's game we'll start off against Bradford City who I thought were going to be up there at the end of the season but they are sitting in 23rd right now and Harrogate who I thought were going to be the easier game are sitting 7th so swings and roundabouts this is what we're currently dealing with we got some we've been played by injuries this year uh, we don't actually have a good le good enough left back but Parker can play Phillips is upset that I'm not actually playing him that much but I can't really I can't really justify starting him over most of the players on the team because he's not really that close to being our best centre midfielder yeah, Duncan Miller's had a very good start. He's got three goals, two assists in uh, eight games. He's a very, another very good one. Today, I'm starting wingers that are both six foot four. That's crazy. Are they taller than both my strikers? Yep, he's only 5'11". I know Daniel Harris is like 5'9". 5'7"? Jesus. Our team is either a Goliath or a tiny little human. Michael Phillips apprehensive as Kean Scales is stronger than him. You're six foot two and you're nervous. Come on, sort it out. I think this is actually going to be. We're actually probably only going to play this one game today. Uh, I've noticed there's quite a lot of highlights from between episodes. So, depending how this one goes, will probably be the only one that we play. Right, why is Lindley upset already? Nervous. Oh, come on. Bradford or. They're not out of this game. They've got a higher HG than us, which doesn't bode well. No, come on. Don't let them counter like this. Who's that? Who stepped up like that? Miller. Oh, come off it. These guys are 23rd. We're top of the league. Oh, that was weird. I'd keep it doing that. These guys are 23rd and we're losing. This is exactly how my seasons tend to go. Hands on hips. Show me something else. How he... You weren't that bad. You weren't that bad. I reckon my attack, as I say, you had the ability to get out there and make a real difference. Yeah, I saved that, sort of. Right. Demand more. Come on. Parrish is having a stinker. Martin's having a stinker. Vaughan's having a stinker. Lindley's obviously having a stinker. Come on. I'm taking off Parrish already for the Admiral. What is this? Centre mid's having a struggle. Come on. They haven't had a shot this second half. For real. This is the episode. This is the match I'm going to show. Right. Come on. Last minute. Are you, are you serious? Are we actually going to lose 2 0 to fucking Black. Uh, Bradford, even. I always get Bradford and Blackpool confused, and I don't know why. Wow. Wow. We actually just lost 1 0 to Bradford at home. That water bottle was getting thrown. I'm far from pleased with that. Yeah, be demotivated, dickheads. The uh, board have rejected my. Request for a senior affiliate. Discuss. Uh, we would rather the club doesn't run. Uh, the financial benefits. Yeah, there we go. Everyone loves a bit of financial benefit. Right, let's have a look at these. Try these. I'm going to stick to that one nil ball. Because I'm going to talk to you about the job market. All of these look bang average. Mm, John Pierre TL looks fine. Jake Scrimshaw looks pretty good. Jake Scrimshaw, can you play as a pressing forward? On attack, he's a good pressing forward on attack. Okay. What kind of wage are you wanting? Would you be a squad player? 
he would be a squad player. 650. Non-promotion release clause. Uh, yeah, that's fine, actually. We'll just take 500. 525. Oh! Okay. So Grimshaw is probably going to come in as our third choice striker, fourth choice striker. That's an interesting one. Anyway, job centre. So I'm thinking about applying for another job. I said sort of off the cuff that if the QPR job came up, that's something that I might be interested in moving for. And it has come up. So is the AFC Wimbledon job. And they're in the league above us. But they're 21st in the league above us. So do I really want to move from the best team in League 2 on the ta on paper, on the table, we're the best team. We're actually not the best team. As the season preview suggests, we should be 23rd. But we're not. We are first. Uh, they also got that wrong with Stockport. They said Stockport would be bottom and they're not even involved in the relegation scrap just yet. But anyway, I don't really want to go to... As much as I love AFC Wimbledon, they are probably my favourite team in real life. I don't want to go there whilst they're struggling like that. It just... And realism, it doesn't make sense. And I don't want to go to Crew for the same reason. I also don't know that much about Crew, other than the fact they have um, Will Jaskalainen in goal. Yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, the only job I'd really consider is QPR. But their favourite for that is Ralph Hassenhurtel, who is obviously much, much better than me. Like his managerial stats are ridiculous, whereas mine are... Can I see mine? Attributes? Yeah, mine are not amazing. I'm... I've tried to start on a scouting course. Let's see how they take this. I'm assuming he's going to say no. Because that's just what happens. Yeah, they're rejecting it. Uh, I can discuss the issue with them. I think it's beneficial. Uh, we'll be left behind for our right... Oh. Oh, okay. He's actually... He's allowed me to. Okay, Mark. Okay. Uh, cool, I'm about to get my Continental C. It's going to take four months. And the Dons don't want to sell me Proctor. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. His contract's up at the end of the year. Maybe I'll be able to get him on a free. But when I shall next see you, I will next see you for... I think... Probably, I might do end of, hmm, end of February, I think, makes sense. Or maybe this stuff, either Ipswich or Exeter. Those are the two that make sense in my head. So they probably, so they probably don't make sense to anyone else. Anyway, as always, Please subscribe. Feedback in the comments is loved and adored. And goodbye. <laughs>